All right, science is going great. <clears throat> we got lots and lots of excess copper. And lots and lots of excess transport belts. Wow. We, we are doing good. Just making tons of these bottles. I don't even know what to think of this. I'm sure there's some way I can make this a little bit better so I can get a lot more bottles out at once. But I think it's going pretty good right now. I got a damaged turret I need to take care of quick. Mm -hmm. There we go. And done. Awesome. So, we're at a point where mainly we're going to be waiting. And waiting. And waiting. I suppose something I could do to help speed up the process is make a couple more science labs. Let's do that. Let's see, I need iron plates. Fortunately, we have plenty in here. Let's make two more. I'm also getting far, far more green bottles than I am getting uh, red ones, which can be a bit of a problem. Fortunately, the red ones are somewhat easy to make. Another attack. But yeah, the red ones are somewhat easy to make in comparison, so I suppose I could just make them myself. Hmm. Make them myself? Or add another assembly machine over here so I can just automatically produce more? I think you already know what I'm going to go for. See, we'll add you over here, and this one can be shoved right here. There we go, and that, and that. There we go. Logistics will be done in just a second. And you... Hmm. It needs to be close enough to allow for the long-handed inserter, so it's going to have to go there. This can go here, and this guy can go here. You'll be making red science packs. And we'll do that, and that. Couple electric poles, and we're good. So this will be stealing some of the gears that would normally be heading over here, but I think that will turn out fine. In fact, I have extra, extra gears, so let's just give it a whole stack of gears. And it can skip the gear part until, it, until it's cleared out this backlog I have. There we go. That seems more... That seems to be doing better. All right. So, I guess this is the point where we're going to start chopping up the episode a bit because, well, it's going to be very grindy for the rest of the episode. And I'd rather do what I can to spare you all the grindiness. I, I better research these because I could use some more turrets. Alright, so, start cutting the episode, I guess. 
Let's see now. Steel is going to require iron plates to make. All right. Ooh, and I can make stone bricks now. And I do have the ability to make walls, so that probably would be a good idea to get into. Hmm. Extra stone walls? Eh, maybe not that important. But stone furnaces? Crucial. Beyond a doubt, crucial. Let's see now, since I have so much excess iron... Well, maybe it's not really that excess anymore. I mean, I am using a lot of it, but... How full is this chest getting? I suppose I could siphon off a little bit of the iron plates. Hmm... Let's do that. Let's do this. And we're, we're going to take some coal from here. Alright. And up. There. Alright, and need to make some underground. And one more. There we go. There. So we'll take some of the iron out from here and start turning it into steel up here. And, ooh, that's done. Start looking up researching automobilism. That's going to take the most time. All right. Let's see, what am I... I'm missing iron plates, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. And one of these splitters. I'm tempted to make make fast transfer belts for this. There's not much point in it, but... Hmm. I want to, but there's no point. So let's not do it. There we go, and I will need to have some on the other side as well. And a chest, and one more of these grabbers, inserters, at the bottom, like this, and... Make another pole. There. That'll do. There we go, and... Let's make one more. And a light. Oh, my science labs have stopped. Darn it! I wasn't paying attention. There we go. So this is going to start making a steel, which will be used for making the car, I'm sure. I'm sure that's going to want us to make a car. So why would it have us go through all this trouble and then just make the car for us?
Okay. And there. So we'll, this will keep it going for a bit. Ooh, and we are getting steel. Nice. Keeping these full of science is a really big chore. I don't know if there's a way to automate this either. I, I don't remember being able to actually automatically put things into these when I was messing around in a free play world. So I assume you can't. Because I tried and it, I failed, so. Yeah. There we go. The tax seem to have been a little bit heavier down here. They almost killed one of my turrets, so. Have to keep on top of that. But good news is we're pretty close to being done with this menial task. Still taking far longer than I would have liked, but I not much I can do about it. This is pretty much what I've been doing for about 10 minutes now, running back and forth, keeping science in these machines. Oh darn it, that one's out. I gotta be close though, because that is nearly finished. Just want to be done with this. How much steel do we have? 45 steel! That is pretty good. We're not even really getting enough steel to, uh... We're not even getting enough iron plates to go all the way up to the top here. Which I suppose is kind of funny. Oh, we're out of iron! Oh my! I... I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> well... Um... In that case, let's take this thing and... Start putting the iron back into the system that we stockpiled. Ha! Ha ha ha! That's something that you gotta keep, keep in mind. You can run out of these these mines so always make sure that you keep, <laughs> you have a stockpile at least so let's see uh, if we completely run out of iron over here we would have to set up a base closer to the aliens which would not be a very ideal situation in my mind I suppose that explains the sudden slowdown of science being generated. We are so close to having this done. Here, just take all of that. Can I produce any more? I can produce more. So I will... Actually, I might not even have to be producing this myself. Yeah, I was expecting to have to do a lot more, a lot more cuts for this video, but I, I might not have to actually. Things are going smooth enough that this is relatively fast.
you know, compared to, uh, having to do this all manually. But I might just finish off automobile, automobilism with these finishing up. We are just about there. Yes! Done! Awesome! We researched it. Craft and place the car. Ah, okay. Craft the car. Craft the car. The car needs an engine. And steel, steel and iron plates. Engines. Iron plates and steel. Cannot craft it myself, though. Alright. Well, we're gonna need... Hmm. We're gonna need to have one of these machines. And you know what? I will take that machine over, because we do not need the signs anymore. Let's see. Requires a steel and some pipes. We need to make eight. Oh, but we we need to keep some extra steel. Yeah, let's just do that. And this will start making our engines for us. We need a total of eight to make the car, which seems like a lot. It really does. <laughs> but I won't question it. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have more than enough. I don't need to make any more steel. I'll just let the rest of this iron go into this system and it probably won't even be used. So this is automatically taking our engines for us. Good. The car, it looks like we can make the car ourselves, which is kind of strange. You have to make the engines in a machine, but the entire car, you can make that with your bare hands. Not sure how that works. Engine number two. Hmm. Maybe I should have multiple machines doing this, because this does take a while. Here, you're not doing much of anything right now. Actually, you're not much needed right now, so let's do that. Engines. Here you go. Everything you need for engines. For engining. There. This will be done soon enough. We are waiting on our last engine. It should be done any minute now. Any second. There we go. Last engine made. So now we can make our car. And that was very fast. Insert fuel in the car, and fuel can be coal, which is a very odd fuel source for a car. But I won't complain, because this means we will be finished with this mission. Let's see. Enter using enter. Well, that's fairly logical, I guess. <clears throat> How do you... How do you open up the inventory for the car? Uh, I did not know this menu existed. <laughs> C Z X C V B N M L K J 
H G F Q E R T Y. Enter takes you back out. How about insert? No. Tab. Shift. Control. Alt. No. Oh, alt shows you things. Nice. Um. Slash. Bracket. One, two, three. Okay, that's not what I want. What button is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, Wikipedia. Or, of course, I could just look up the controls in the game itself. You know, the logical thing to do. Let's see. Blueprints, paste entity, copy entity, build mine. Where is I don't see how you can access the car's inventory to put fuel in. And I'm not really having any luck at all with this. Gah! Can I just pick up the coal and do this? Ah, there we go. You click on the car itself. Okay. You know, it'd be useful if it actually told you that. Hooray! I finished. 274 small biters were killed. Awesome. I guess that this is going to be an episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I'll see you when the next episode comes out, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and goodbye.